And now, the area's most accurate weather forecast with Storm Search 7 Chief Meteorologist Steve Kirsch. Everything is coming together just like we thought it would. Right about 5 or 6 o'clock, the showers and thunderstorms were expected to pop up. Have they? Yes, they have. It looks like a tornado watch may be issued shortly by the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma for our area. Here's a look at Adobe Wilds Live Max Radar. We're zoomed in, zoomed in right now in the Oklahoma Panhandle. Thunderstorms off to the west of Guymon, and that storm north of Hugoton has just gone severe. It could be some hail the size of golf balls in that. But you can see a pocket of cold air aloft coming in from northeastern New Mexico. Maybe saying, well, what does that mean? Well, when you put that cold air on top of the very warm and humid atmosphere at the surface here across the Panhandles, Thunderstorms are expected to rapidly develop, and that's exactly what they're doing north of us right now. Those storms will continue developing toward the south, and we should see them cover most of the area by late tonight and early tomorrow morning. All right, start by looking at our school net side. So what we're going to look at here are the dew point temperatures in yellow. That's the a measure of the amount of moisture in the atmosphere, and we notice the higher numbers mean more moisture. See a dew point of 56, St. Hyacinth Catholic Church. Right now it's 81 degrees there. South side of town, down in Canyon, same thing. Now we have noticed the Oasis RV Resort earlier had a dew point in the 40s, but more moisture coming in from the south and east has quickly displaced that. So the dry line is pushing back toward the west. In fact, we can see that. Look at the dew point difference between Amistad and New Mexico at 38 degree dew point, whereas Dumas has a 51 degree dew point. There's your dry line, and that's where the showers and storms are going to pop up between those two locales. Across the northeast, you're socked in with a lot of deep, low-level moisture. That will help feed the showers and thunderstorms tonight and also tomorrow. In the southeastern Texas panhandle, same thing. Currently 88 degrees in downtown Childress, 88 degrees right now at the high school in Paducah. Across the west and southwest, the dry line showing up nicely. Look at Farwell's frost point of 28. And Dimmitt's dew point temperature 52. Again, a very sharp contrast, and that's where we think thunderstorms will pop up here about the next hour or so in the southwest Texas panhandle. Guymon thunderstorms just off to your west. Look at the winds feeding those showers and storms out of the southeast at 26, gusting up to 32 miles per hour. Well, the regional satellite radar composite, our upper level storm system now making its way through southwestern Colorado. Notice all the showers. That's in the lower elevations. We have snow in the upper elevations. In fact, we're talking up, upwards of a couple inches of snow possible in the mountains of northern New Mexico and southwestern Colorado. Look at the temperatures here at the top of the hour and check out Albuquerque. 48 degrees right now. No wonder it's snowing in the mountains of New Mexico. 82 at the top of the hour at Rick Husband International Airport. All right, a very busy computer model forecast. Notice the dry line to our west at 11 o'clock tonight and watch how this line of storms develops along the cold front and moves off toward the east. Some of these storms can produce a lot of rainfall. We're talking a couple inches of rain. And I want you to notice how the eastern panhandle just keeps getting rained on and rained on during the day tomorrow. Eastern New Mexico, though, skies will be sunny. 71 will be the high in Amarillo. Another upper level disturbance causes even more rain in the eastern panhandle to develop. And in case you're wondering, our computer model says Canadian, Childress, how about five inches of rain for you? And that's why the National Weather Service has put out a flash flood watch during a drought for your area because we're there that certain that very heavy rainfall could cause some problems. 67, by the way, is going to be the high temperature on Sunday. For tonight, we're just waiting for that tornado watch to be issued. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Some of these storms strong, possibly even severe. Now, large hail damaging winds, the primary threat. But we'll watch and see if some of these storms will rotate. 55 degrees in Amarillo, 54 in Canyon for low tonight with rain likely. We're heading out to the Friday night high school football games. Take an umbrella with you. If you hear thunder, take the umbrella, get in the car. That's the safest place for you to be. In Amarillo and Canyon, we'll see clearing skies around lunchtime, perhaps a little more sun in the afternoon. But in the eastern panhandle, it's going to be a very, very wet day. And you folks, I'm sure, are going to be loving every minute of it. Over the next seven days, the cloud cover remains on Sunday. Pretty chilly, high of only 67. We're back up into the 70s, like we'll stay in the 70s for highs. And by the way, note that low Monday morning, 41 degrees. The average date of the first freeze in Amarillo is around Halloween, and you can tell we're getting close. I guess tonight you're going to get strange conditions when it's so warm here and mm -hmm. snowing so close to us to the west, right? It's the contrast in temperatures that can cause the weather to be very volatile. The clash of the titans coming That's up right. right there. Thanks a lot. More news straight ahead.